I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw something you would never find in a jar. A sunset. Put one finger in the middle, underneath put a dot, and from that dot we're going to draw a flat oval. Come on the left hand side and draw a straight line down. Come on the right hand side, draw another straight line down. Come back to the left and let's draw a slightly curved line up, over, and connect. Come back to the left. We're going to draw a curved line out, straight line down, leave it floating. Come on the right hand side, we're just going to draw a curved line out, straight line down, and leave it floating. Come back to the left, we're going to draw a slightly curved line over, and connect. Come back to the left, draw a little straight line on the left, little straight line on the right, come back to the left, mimic that line, curved line slightly over. Okay. Right in the center, put a dot. And from that dot I'm going to draw straight diagonal out, straight line over, straight diagonal up, connect, a little straight line down in the center. Starting over here on the left, draw a straight line across. Come back to the left, straight diagonal down on the left, straight diagonal down on the right. Go back to the left, connect the two. I'm going to put a wavy wavy line on the right, a bigger wavy wavy line on the left, a little wavy wavy line, whoops, on the left, this one's in the center. Let's come back up to the top and right about here we're just going to draw a curved line, curved line, curved line, bam, you crash into that, jump over, curve line, curve line, curve line, connect, come back right, right about here and we're just going to draw a big curve line up, over, connect. Starting on the left, we're just going to draw a curve line out, in, out, in, up, down, out, in, up, down, out, in, keep going, and connect. From every section, we're going to draw a straight line in between to the edge of our jar. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There we go. Okay, now we're ready to color. Let's see how we're going to color this in. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color the top part of my lid of my jar. You can color yours any color you want and you'll do a better job than me, but I chose green. Now I'm going to jump down and I'm going to do the bottom green also. Okay? Now, I want these squiggles to look like they are shimmers on my water, which I haven't drawn yet, but I'm going to take a yellow and I'm just going to go to the side of it to make sure that I don't color over that part. Then with my blue-green, I'm jump over. I'm just going to make some waves for my water inside my jar. Jump over. Then I do the bottom. Okay. I'm going to take, whoops, I forgot a part. Always. I should have put some straight diagonal lines in here in my space right here. Because then, with my purple, I'm going to color each one of these spaces purple. And this, you also can choose your own color. Okay? Totally up to you. Next, I'm going to do my sun. 
And the first part I'm going to do is I'm going to double color it. First I'm going to do this section yellow. And then I'm going to lightly color orange over it until I get that double color. Then this first layer I'm going to do orange. But now I'm going to use pink right next to this section. And I'm just going to follow along going up each one of these inside spaces with pink. We're going to do a couple of colors on here. First color is going to be pink because it is a sunset. So I'm going to follow my line and make the, sick, the very first level pink. Then I'm going to come in and I'm going to do a layer next to the pink of yellow. If they accidentally blend, that's okay. But my next part is going to be yellow. It's almost like an ombre effect. Then my last effect is going to be the orange. And that should fill the rest of the space. And hopefully it should look like a sunset. Okay? Bring it all the way down. Put a little bit of that color in each one of the spaces. Then, using my blue, I'm going to loop-de-loop -loop my water. Go all the way across. Up and down. Now, when you get next to the yellow, that you did on your shimmers, just go ahead and be careful not to go into that because if it's blue with yellow you'll end up with green which is okay but we kind of want to keep that yellow all the way through. Okay? Last thing I'm going to take my fat yellow crayon and I'm just going to do some stripes in the background. Okay. Let's see what this looks like all colored in. Okay, here is my completed things you would never find in a jar, a sunset. Okay, bye-bye.